everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to show you how you can stake your Ethereum and we're going to use Lido to stake your Ethereum. There's a couple of reasons why. Uh, one of the main reasons is this is an elegant and simple solution to staking Ethereum. As you know, if you wanted to do it yourself, you'd have to run a node, have specific setups, and you have to take on the risk of uh, whatever slashing and things if you don't have your node up and running. And at the same time, you need to have a minimum of 32 Ethereum. Not a lot of people may have that. So if you have a little bit of ETH lying around and you want to take part and earn, make it earn that 5.5% um, rewards that it can earn, you can use Lido and um, and just stake your ETH via them and earn that reward. Now, what's cool about uh, Lido is it gives you, it currently supports two protocols, Ethereum 2.0. And as you know, if you were to currently stake your ETH, you would have to lock it and, and wait for Ethereum 2.0. But using Lido, you actually, and this is a great uh, explanation over here, you can stake it and it will give you a representation of your staked ETH in terms of, and it's called ST ETH. And the best part about this ETH is every day, it will essentially rebase and uh, in your wallet automatically representing the staking rewards you have earned. So it doesn't actually generate a transaction. You don't have to worry about gas fees or any of that. It just automatically, um, when the Oracle feeds into the infrastructure, it updates in your wallet to, to give you the representation you have of STE based on the staking rewards your ETH would have earned while being staked. So that's cool. And the best part about it as well as STE is now, you know, you can utilize it in Curve and various other DeFi uh, protocols. So you're still earning that uh, staking rewards for being part of ETH2, but you still have access to your ETH essentially to move it around and partake in DeFi. So today I'm going to show you how you can use the protocol. What are your couple of options? And um, I'll just walk you through it now. Uh, after this, you know, this is the first step. But if you're watching this video and you're probably getting ready to use your ETH on and move it across to Luna and use it in Anchor, well, this is the first thing you need to do. So after you do this, I'll create a separate video just to show you how to use um, the uh, other DAP to move it across to Terra. But let's start here with staking ETH. So if I go to stake now, it will load up here we go and you can see i've already got my wallet connected i've got a little bit of eth in here and i'm just going to stake um, 0 0.10 off off my eth here for the purpose of this tutorial um, and show you the process of doing it now just ignore gas costs and whatever it is it is but uh, this the one thing i wanted to call out is when you stake you'll get one for one so if i put 0 0.10 I will end up with the same amount of STE. Now afterwards every day I will slowly see whatever the 5% of this is keep building up. Now on this you probably won't notice on this amount but if you have 5, 10 ETH you'll notice every day uh, some of it trickling up based on staking rewards which is kind of cool. Um, one other quick call that I wanted to make for this video so there's two ways. You can actually use the uh, Lido protocol and swap it like this, or you can actually go to Curve and uh, pick, and if you haven't used Curve, yes, it's got this interface, um, but you can actually pick ETH and um, ST ETH and swap between your ETH to ST ETH. Now, this is actually, in my view, a better way because you, you end up with a bit more ETH um, ST ETH per the conversion. As you can see over here, currently if I swap um, 0 0.10 to via this protocol, I would end up with uh, 0.10 ST ETH. However, if I used Curve, I would actually end up with more ST ETH. So just jumping across again, and you can see over here the same amount of ETH if I was swapping it on Curve. Now make sure on Curve you've picked the right one because there's S ETH and you don't want to end up with that because that's not ST ETH, they're different ETHs. So uh, 0 0.10 will actually give me that. So that is available to you. And if you were doing that, you would literally pick it and then swap it 
and approve your transactions and keep moving. That's how simple it is. So uh, keep that in mind. Now coming back here, uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I actually want to use uh, Lido. Here we go, 0 0.10. I'll just dismiss this. I'll hit submit. Yep, I'm paying a bit in gas fees, but that's okay. Now we'll give it a moment. And that's it. Now, when you go to your wallet, you'll notice you actually have ST ETH. So you can see it's deducted the bit of the fee. So if, if I had actually gone and swapped it via Curve, I would have actually ended up with more. So um, let, let's head on over to Curve again and take a look. So make sure you, know, you, you decide where you want to go. What is the risk? It's no different. As soon as you swapped, remember at the time of the swap, it's one for one. It is after that day passes then it detects based on your wallet address how long you've had it for and automatically gives you your um, uh, your staking rewards and your balances update. So that's step one. Now I'll leave this video here. I'll do a separate tutorial on once you have STETH, how you uh, move it to BETH and um, this is a process that will then move it across to the Terra chain and you can get it ready to use in Anchor if that's your wish. If it isn't, you literally um, just leave this in your wallet and you'll just see it keep growing in value. Uh, well, growing ETH going up <laughs> because it's earning the staking rewards. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This was a very simple, quick tutorial. If you weren't sure, um, I hope it's given you a bit of confidence to go through the process and uh, stake your ETH and make sure it's not just sitting around not earning you anything when it can be earning you uh, over 5%. And then if you take part in other DeFi protocols, you can uh, get it up to 11%. So uh, definitely do your research and, and, and make sure you know what you're doing before you start playing with this and exploring this option. Thanks for watching.